guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a full day of easy meals that are geared towards weight loss on a plant-based diet. These are meals that are super simple and quick to pull together and you can make a bunch of it ahead of time and have it ready to go to use during the week. It's meals like these that helped me lose 70 pounds and have helped me maintain my weight loss. It was super important for me to keep things really simple so that it would be sustainable for me long term. Also wanted to let you guys know that the moon necklaces are now available on my website. It's the exact gold necklace that I wear that you guys have been asking me about for months and months. We have them in gold and in silver. I will link them for you in the description box below. And our women's tees and kids tees are available as well. Now the thing I'm gonna say about all of these items is that we do have a very limited quantity. So if you want one, get one fast because I don't think they're gonna last for very long. Our suppliers have told us that we're not gonna be able to get more anytime soon because of all of the shortages and shipping issues happening nationwide and around the world. So my guess is that what we have now is gonna be all that I have for the entire holiday season. The other thing we heard from our distributors is, is that they're expecting major shipping delays across the country the closer we get to the holiday season. So even if you're thinking of getting one for a birthday or Christmas present or whatever, and it falls during the holidays, I recommend getting it sooner than later because shipping delays are supposed to get really bad. And remember like always, you can follow me on Instagram for more food and lifestyle inspiration. I just realized my shirt's inside out. Look it. <sighs> Mom life. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make these super easy blender pumpkin spice pancakes. They're so good. And sometimes you don't wanna eat a bowl of oatmeal. Sometimes you want it to be made into a nice stack of pancakes. I'm also gonna show you guys these super easy lentil lettuce boats, which are really good, really easy. You can get as fancy as you want with them, but you know me, I like to keep it simple. It's not lazy cooking, it's efficient cooking. And then for dinner, I'm going to show you my super simple cheesy broccoli rice casserole. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it really family friendly because I don't like making two meals. And that is one of the major questions I receive a lot is do I make two meals? And I don't. I make one meal and then they make their additions to fit their dietary needs. My kids need way more calories than I do because I am not a growing teenager. Or am I on the cross country team? Would I want to be on the cross country team? I really don't run unless I'm being chased by an animal. So, so yeah, let's get, does anybody else see those flies? All right, so let's get on to the food. All right, so for these blender pancakes, it's really simple. I'm just gonna start by adding some rolled oats to my blender, and then I'm gonna add a little canned pumpkin puree. You can also use a baked sweet potato, which is actually what I'm gonna use today because I am out of canned pumpkin. Always, these recipes will be linked in the description box below. So then I'm gonna add just a little splash of vanilla. And you can use either pumpkin pie spice or a little cinnamon. Today, I'm just gonna use a little cinnamon. Then I'm gonna add a little baking powder and a pinch of salt. And then some water. Then you wanna blend it up until it's nice and smooth. So here I've heated my nonstick griddle and I don't have to spray it or anything. These don't like to stick, but if you have a pan that likes to stick, you may need to lightly spray it. But this nonstick pan that I just picked up at Walmart works pretty good. So once you get the batter onto the pan, you kind of want to spread it out and make them kind of thin. Otherwise they do not like to cook all the way through. I've tried adding more water to this and they just don't cook through. So I just kind of spread them out and they come out perfect. So now I'm just gonna show you how to make these really cute little pats of butter with banana. I just cut them into little squares. My kids love this on their stack of pancakes. So all you're gonna do is take a banana and cut a little coin out of it. 
And then all I'm gonna do is cut the sides off and square it off into a cute little square and that's your little pat of butter. So with my breakfast today, I'm gonna make a nice breakfast salad. I'm just gonna fill my bowl here with some fresh spinach. And I like to have either some vegetables or some fresh fruit with my breakfast. It helps keep you fuller longer and fills your belly with fiber and nutrition. So I've got my bowl here of spinach and then I'm gonna take an orange and I'm gonna cut it in half. So then I'm gonna take a grapefruit spoon and it just has like these serrated edges here and it helps you get the segments out. So I'm just gonna get the segments out of one half of the orange and then I'm gonna squeeze the juice from the other half over the salad. It's super simple and it's delicious and nutritious. Super simple. So this makes about four to five pancakes and I personally eat the whole stack along with my salad. And I usually only use one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. You don't have to use any maple syrup. You could just mash banana over these, which is really delicious as well. And every morning with breakfast, I take my multivitamin. No, this is not a sponsored video. You guys just ask me all the time if I take any supplements and I do. I'm gonna link the blog below so you guys can read about how making sure I got the right supplement helped me with the hair thinning that I was experiencing. So if you are experiencing any hair thinning, make sure you check out that blog and I will link these supplements along with a discount code below. All right, so for these lentil taco boats, I'm just going to start by sauteing a little onion into a hot pan. And these are super simple. You can make all the taco meat ahead of time and then reheat it all week. So after the onions have cooked down, I'm gonna add my lentils and I just get canned lentils. You can use homemade if you want. I like the brown ones and I just drain and rinse them. And then I just add those to the hot pan and then mix it all up. Go seasoning, I found this Frontier Mexican Fiesta seasoning. It doesn't have any salt in it, which is awesome. Then you can control it because those packets of like taco seasoning have so much sodium that this is a nice way to get all that flavor. And then you can control the amount of salt you want to put in if you use salt and then you can completely leave it out if you don't. And I will link it for you guys below. So then I add just a little bit of water just kind of to help it get saucy and mix in. And I'm basically just getting it all mixed in and then it's ready to go. Now I'm gonna make these into lettuce boats. You can of course use some corn tortillas or some flour tortillas if you want, but using the lettuce boats kind of helps you make your 50-50 plate and it also reduces the amount of calories that you are consuming naturally. So it's up to you if you need more calories, like this isn't enough calories for my husband. So he definitely uses the tortillas. So then all I'm gonna do is take some of these refried pinto beans and they are fat free. I just found these at Whole Foods. They have them in the regular grocery store as well. So I've heated those up and I'm just gonna put a layer of those into my lettuce boats. And now I'm gonna add some of our lentil taco meat. Then I'm gonna add some chopped tomato and some jalapeno slices and a little avocado. If you are doing completely overt fat-free, you can totally leave off the little bit of avocado. And then to top it off, you can add your favorite hot sauce. So this broccoli cheese casserole is seriously so easy and it's kid friendly and family friendly. So you can make this up and have it yourself and have it for the family as well. So I'm gonna start by adding some cooked brown rice to my bowl here. 
Then I'm going to add some chopped steamed broccoli. Now this is basically making this into a 50-50 plate without you having to do it. You can always still add a salad or some more veggies. I always do, but this is a really good way to get some brown rice into your family and some broccoli. This is the only way I'll actually eat brown rice. So then I'm gonna add my cheese sauce. Now, this is where you can get as customized as you want. You can make my cheese sauce without the little bit of cashews that it has to make it completely fat-free. You can also reduce the amount of cashews by half or you can leave them in. You can make your family a casserole that has the full fat cheese in it and then make yourself one that is fat-free. So it's completely customizable. And I love making this on Sunday and then we have it for several days during the week to heat up for dinner or for lunch. My kids will take it in their lunch boxes and heat it up at school. So now to make this super family friendly, I like to put a little gluten-free breadcrumbs on top and it just makes it extra crunchy and delicious for them. I personally eat mine without the crumbs, but you do what makes you happy. But I did want to show you guys how to make your meal family friendly so that you can feed the troops as well as yourself. So after I add the breadcrumbs, then I just season the top with a little salt and a little garlic powder. And then I pop it in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes or until the top is golden brown. So I'm gonna eat mine with a house salad. So I've just got some mixed greens in this bowl here. And then I'm just gonna add some sliced cucumbers, some sliced red onion, and some chopped tomato. And then I'm gonna dress it with a little bit of my ranch dressing. It's so good. I will link it below for you guys. And this you can also make even lower in fat or fat free. today i hope you guys give these meals a try remember to keep it simple that's what helps make this lifestyle super sustainable don't be afraid to eat super simply and monotonously i like to eat really repetitively and simple during the week and then i do a little more cooking on the weekend and have you know like cleaned up pizza or buffalo cauliflower wings, things like that. Do what you need to do to make this sustainable. Remember to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. <laughs>